Okay, I'm really excited about today because we are doing a dog treat cookie challenge. It's essentially a bake-off, but for dogs. I brought in some pro bakers and some dog enthusiasts to be the contestants in today's bake-off. There's a lot on the line here because the winner of this competition gets their treats sold online as soon as we announce the winner. Today's competition is being sponsored by Vistaprint and it's being held right here in the world famous bakery for dogs in Los Angeles, California. We are gonna start the timer right now. All right, go. The challenge for the contestants is to make the best set of themed cookies while still providing an amazing value to our customers. What I'm going for today is something magical, something that takes me back to my childhood. I'm gonna do unicorns and rainbows and magic. I'm definitely not the most qualified to make these dog treats today in this competition. This is a whole new venture. Jasmine, this is the first time you and I have been working together. Yes. I'm excited. It looks like you've already got some fun shapes going. Rainbows and unicorns. That's awesome. What do you think like sets you ahead of everybody else? Look, I'm already, I'm done. They're still rolling. <laughs> I like that right here. Boom. <laughs> I kind of wanted to get into the mind of the dog. What are dog's favorite things? And what's my favorite thing is food. I think that's gonna really win our dog judge over. Dog Bakery has plenty of cupcakes, plenty of celebration cakes for dogs, but they don't have pizza cookies. Emily? Yes. You do this every single day, day in and day out. I think I have a leg up too because I, you know, work with doggy ingredients. We're using a lot of natural ingredients and sometimes that just makes it a little bit more challenging. So right out of the gate, are you confident that you're gonna win? Oh, absolutely. My theme is going to be desserts. So we have popsicles, ice cream cones, cupcakes, donuts. Who doesn't love desserts? Full disclosure, Kelly <laughs> is my amazing wife. Hey. That being said, I'm not cutting any slack with you today. I wouldn't expect anything less. Okay, if you don't win, I don't pay for that later, right? I mean, I don't know. Can't make any promises. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine just said that she would crush you okay. in any competition. Great, I look forward to it. My game plan right now is to just get everything ready so that when my cookies come out, I can just assembly line them, done and ahead of the game. All right, they're saying they're in the zone right now, but I don't know because the time's gonna go fast. I mean, by the time they cut the cookies out, they throw them in the oven, they've gotta cool for a minute, we'll throw them in the fridge so they cool faster, and then they have to decorate the cookies. That doesn't allow for a lot of time. It's gonna be a tight competition. Um, my competitor's designs don't make me nervous because they're too much alike. I'm like, way out of the ballpark here. I am a little nervous. I have reds and dark blues and yellows and they have much more rainbowy colors so I'm worried that that's gonna be some tough competition. I'm kinda nervous about this because I've never done dog treats. We're using carob so that way it looks like chocolate but it's safe for dogs. The themes are coming together. Right now we have Kelly doing a dessert based theme. Cookies that look like cupcakes and ice cream. And we have Emily doing a junk food theme. Pizza or hot dogs or hamburgers. We have Jasmine doing a magical theme. So think colorful cookies, unicorns. It's hard enough to make those as human cookies. It'll be interesting to see how these actually turn out. I think it's so cute that they're over there talking to each other. I have a conspiracy theory that these two are out to get me. You know, I've known Emily since she started working for us about four years ago. We weren't doing anything intentional. They're both gonna lose. I wanna remind all of you what the stakes are here. Jackson, come here. Good boy. <laughs> all right, my wheels are spinning. I don't wanna lose to them. I've gotta think of a different strategy. I've gotta figure this one out. This room is really cold, so this is setting up super quick. So when I was strategizing my theme in my head, I was thinking the frosting that I usually use. And when I started using it here, it was kind of different, so I had to go a different route. I brought the Flip, you want a treat? Okay, they're throwing the cookies in the oven right now. I think they think they're gonna get to rest for like 20 minutes, but no, because Flip and myself, we came up with a competition. All right, Jasmine, come here real quick. So Flip is gonna help us with the competition. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw him a treat. If you can get Flip to catch your treat, wins five minutes of my time. Why don't you guys line up right over there. So I'm gonna use some of your leftover cookie dough and that's gonna be the treat that Flip gets. Ready? The cookie dough is safe too, right? Nothing in there that would harm the dogs. Okay. 
Ready? Go for right, it. Clip. Ready? Oh! <laughs> he didn't even try. Please help me. Who knows what Kelly will make me do? Okay. Wait, that wasn't that wasn't the treat. <laughs> Come here. What did you throw? You throw jerky. Let me see. Let me see. No, doesn't count. <laughs> Disqualified. Okay, so you got me for five minutes. Uh, yeah. What do you want me to do? You want me to start? Well, so here's the here. thing. I'd like a double soy latte, and maybe get one for all my friends. Not even ten minutes. No. Oh wait. Oh my gosh, I set an alarm on my phone and I didn't realize that it was going off under the table. Oh my god, my timer was going off this whole time. My cookies might be a little too brown, but the dog can't talk, so nobody's gonna know. <laughs> so far, I'm happy with my progress. I'm excited for the cookies to get out of the oven because those are kind of the key cookies. Once those are done, then I'll be a lot more confident. I watch a lot of baking competitions, and I think from first-hand experience now, it's much more stressful than it looks on TV. The time is definitely an issue because usually I have way more time in my day to make the cookies, so I think getting them done in definitely a shorter amount of time is making me nervous. Hopefully I don't shake too much when I'm trying to pipe out my cookies. <laughs> Looking at my treats, they're not as cute as I expected them to be, but I really hope that once I get all of them finished and put them together, they'll click. All right, if this is what Kelly wants, this is what Kelly gets. One peach tea, one iced coffee. Thank you. My time is up. I have served my five minutes. All right, this is a show that I've actually been wanting to do for a long time. I mean, a bake-off at a dog bakery, it doesn't get any better than that. And I wanna start making more of these episodes, so let me know what you think, and I tell you what, if we get 100,000 likes on this, I will absolutely do another episode. But I also wanna thank our sponsor, Vistaprint, because they helped us be able to put this first competition together. Now, when Vistaprint came to me, I thought it was perfect because they're actually a service we already use here at the dog bakery. Vistaprint can really help you kickstart your business by giving you a fresh update to your market. Marketing. Check this out. So we have business cards. We've had these for a long time. Look at this. It's got all of our store locations on this, but we did a fresh update and now it actually has our rewards card right on the back. So when you come in store, you get all of these stamped. And once those are stamped, look at this. Your dog gets a free peanut butter cookie. Vistaprint offers curated marketing products and has many different options that always remain fresh. For us, one of the things we really love is they have stickers that come off of metallic. So we take these gold metallic looking stickers, we put them on the packaging before we send a product out. I like these gold stickers because they're just a little bit better than other seals. I think customers really appreciate it too and it really sets our business apart from others. Vistaprint offers current designs and they allow you to modify based off your needs. For us, we really needed a postcard size flyer that we could write a handwritten note on some of the orders that go out to customers to add that special extra little touch of care. We use Vistaprint at the Dog Bakery because it's a good product at a good value. So if you want to use Vistaprint for your business, for your school project, for your dog or cat rescue, you can do that now. And right now, if you go to vistaprint.com slash Rocky Kanaka and you enter promo code Vistaprint30, you can get 30% off select items. Just a small critique since we haven't closed up the competition yet. Yeah yellow in here, but no yellow in these. Well, I still have four more cookies coming. Okay, so it might all tie together? It might. Okay, Emily's over there dipping right now. These, I gotta tell you, are looking really cute. Look at that. We got a little hot dog on there. I think that's a corn hey, dog. Hey, 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 in your own. You call it a hot dog. Yeah, I know the competition's getting tight over here. <laughs> I saw that uh, she had some sprinkles, so I stole some. Oh, smart, smart. So Emily just stole my sprinkles, but I have an idea how I'm gonna get her back, and she is not gonna see it coming. The detail on that popcorn is fantastic. You're doing great, but that's not that exciting. Yeah, I didn't want to do too many dessert things just because that was not my challenge. I'll give you plenty of space, just constructive <laughs> criticism. Thank Jasmine? You. Yes. What do you think, how are you looking? I like them. They're super girly. I have a girl puppy. She's a psycho, so these are psychedelic. Now, I will say the, the colors, especially on these, yeah, they are really popping. Yeah. Like that is bright, that is fun. My only thought, my only piece of advice so you can get a one-up on these guys, okay. is these right here, I don't think they pop as much as these, and while having some of them in there, mm -hmm. if you go too much on that, it's gonna increase the amount of labor we have to do, it. and then it's just cost prohibitive. So if you have to cut anything because of time, I would definitely cut the smaller items. Okay. Okay, keep up the good work.
Okay, so they're doing really good right now, but I'm already starting to see concerns in the ability to be able to produce some of these items. That's that's my bun color. That's not candy. Wait, did she actually take did she take your color or you mean she's just using the same color? Wow! She took my sprinkles! Oh, this is heating up! Everyone is stealing everyone's things. Don't steal my stuff. Please. Anything on your table is yours only. During the process of making the cookies, it's very, very difficult mixing the right colors, and especially if you mess up or something splatters, then you have to restart the whole cookie all over again. I'm really cutting it close here. Everybody's little cookies are looking amazing. Mine are kind of looking a little crazy. I'm really trying to figure out how to bring all these pieces together, but I'll give it my best shot. The one thing that I have a leg up on everybody else is just how quickly I'm able to turn these out. Their treats look really great from a labor perspective. It costs too much. <laughs> oh, so cute. Just made a few minor adjustments, seeing the whole thing come together. So changing little colors, making sure everything looks really pretty. I added some more color. We got rainbow babies now. <laughs> so I look over at Emily's table. And first she stole Kelly's sprinkles, and now she's stealing my rainbow idea? I did maybe steal slightly something of Jasmine's in her rainbow design. Rocky gave me some feedback that my bagels were too tan colored. I think Emily is actually the instigator of all this. Jasmine's the only one that played fair. <laughs> Coming together. Uh-oh, Kelly's done. I've been done. I do not have much time. Are you gonna make it? Yeah, it's gonna be close. I'm good, I'm just finishing up. All right, Dog Bakery Chefs, you have one minute left. The yeah, different shapes that I designed and the different color schemes play well with the food theme. I think everyone's gonna, you know, really want cookie theme because that way you can give your dog pizza and hot dogs and french fries. Oh, I brought my own edible glitter just for an extra sparkle. I don't know if we have another plate. Because obviously I made way more cookies than what I need, so I don't know if I'm gonna be judged uh, negatively for having too many cookies. Sure, it looks like you're set. I so might use I'm just still. gonna go ahead and stick that right there. <laughs> I'm done, I'm happy, and I think I'm gonna win this. Five, four, three, two, one, hands down. Okay, everything down. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of these and I'm posting them on my Instagram because I want to know from you who you think the winner is. So we're doing this in real time on my Instagram. This is the final product? This is it. Wow, you pulled it off. It was such amazing glitter, bright colors, character like in the unicorn cookies. My only concern is the time that it took. At the end of the day, it has to be affordable for our customers, but I think people would love this. This is a product of you being here for four years. <laughs> I you... probably finished just last, yeah. but it's okay. I gotta tell you though, this is awesome. The detail that you have in the smaller cookies is pretty phenomenal. I think the fun sayings will help me sell my box. Would you be willing to alter it just a little bit so that we could make thousands of these? Absolutely. Uh, let me start this off by saying I love you. It definitely says dessert. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the sprinkled donuts, like, oh, so good. I, I just love it. I think it's really gonna come down to what the dogs say and what everyone out there says on Instagram. Okay. Great. Here's what we're gonna do. Flip's gonna jump up on the counter and whichever tree he picks, that's the winner of this round. Okay, ready? Good? Okay. All right, Flip, up. Yeah, Flip chose a winner. Okay, the final part of the judging. Let's see what everyone on Instagram says. Okay, you ready? Okay. Now this might be because we posted it around lunchtime. It's the junk food. It's the junk food per Instagram. Well done. Okay. All right, the winner of this competition is Emily with her junk food. Yay! This is available for sale right now. Go get this box of cookies while supplies last. Link in the description or go to thedogbakery.com. All right, pick one. Go watch this video or this video right now. Which one? This one or this one? Click one. Click, click, click. And again, a special thanks to Vistaprint for sponsoring this video.